In this tutorial, how to add pages on Shopify. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can add pages on Shopify in 2018. So we're gonna learn how we can create a page and also how we can add those pages into the menu like this. So to do this, just go back to the back end, your admin, log into your account, go down and click on online store. Click on pages. Okay, so this is all the pages I have in my store. To create a new one, just click on add page. So this is the place where we can customize our page. So first we can add a title. Okay, okay, so this will just be an example. Then we want to add content. So I'm just gonna add some example text like that. So first we can highlight a text like that. So first we can click on formatting. So here you can choose uh, heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 or block quote. So the first one we're gonna add heading 1 like that. We can also delete the comma. Uh, then we can uh, just Highlight the text and click on bold and just edit the text as you want it. Italic underscore. We can create a bullet list. Like that. You can also choose a numbered list. Uh, you can choose alignment. So if you highlight all the text, click on alignment center, this will align the text to center. Okay, so let's say you want to have a link in your text, just highlight the text, click on link, and add your URL. So mine is uh, waatz.com. Then you can choose open this link in the same window or a new window. Okay. And click insert link. So now we have the link right here. You can also insert a table and add some information right here. Like that. If you want, you can insert images. So just choose where you want to have the image, like that, click on insert image, choose the image or upload a new image, all right? So I'm going to choose this one. You can add image all text, what's in the picture. So this is great for search engines. Then you can choose size, original, uh, pico, icon, thumb, small, compact, medium. A large, grande, and one of these. Okay, so I'm gonna choose large. Then click on insert image, like that. We can also make a small space right here. If you want, you can add a video as well. Uh, click on insert video. So you can insert a video by pasting the embed snippet in the box below. So to do this, just go to YouTube, uh, find the video uh, you want to add. So I'm gonna choose my own. Let's click on the video, pause it, go down, click on share, choose embed. Uh, this is the code you want to copy. You can also design it by start at a certain time. So let's say 10 seconds in. You can also choose embed options, uh, show suggested videos when the video finishes, show player controls, uh, show video title and player actions, enable privacy enhance mode. So when you turn on privacy enhance mode, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this one. And also by embedding YouTube uh, videos on your site, you are agreeing to YouTube API Terms of Service. 
So read this one as well. Then click on copy, go back and paste it right here. You can also change the video size by changing this one, the width and the height right here. Then click on insert video, like that. So now we have the video in place. And you can also edit uh, the website uh, SEO. Just click on edit SEO. And then you can change uh, page title, uh, meta description, URL and handle. So this is great for search engine optimization. So when you're done, just click on save. Okay. And to add this page to the navigation, to the menu, just click on navigation right here. Click on main menu or footer menu. Or you can add a new menu if you like. In this case, I'm going to click on main menu. Click on add menu item. Click on link. And here you can add collections, products, pages, uh, blogs. So just click on pages. Choose your page, so in this case, page one. Then click on add. You can move around this one by clicking on the six dots and move it up. You can also add it under a page by dragging it to the right one step and release. So now we have the page one under catalog. You can also do this in two steps. So if you add another page and drag this one under page and one step to the right like that. So now you have a two step uh, drop down menu. So contact us is under page one and page one is under catalog. Okay. So let's save this one and have a look. Go back to the store. So if you click on catalog, we now have the page. And if you click on page, we now have contact us under page one. Okay. Okay everyone, so this is how you can create a page for your Shopify store and also how you can add it to your menu and create a drop down menu if you like. Hope this helped. Okay everyone, so I hope you now have awesome pages in the Shopify store. And if you haven't subscribed already, just click on this image for more of these tutorials. You can also check out my latest video right here, just click on this image. Okay, so I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.